For NASA, reaching the moon was just phase one of their plan. Phase two is hard science. Rock samples from the first two landings revolutionized our understanding of the moon. They revealed moon rocks are similar to Earth rocks and that much of the lunar surface was once covered in molten lava. And being able to have those physical samples is a whole new kind of science that really begins as soon as those samples start to come back to Earth. Apollo 14. The crew's next task, collect samples from surrounding craters. The forces that make craters blast ancient rocks to the surface. Shepard and Mitchell collect the biggest payload yet, 92 pounds of rocks and soil, which could help scientists determine what forces shaped the moon and Earth. The moon is kind of like the rare book room of the Cosmic Library. None of the things that have erased the earliest history on the Earth the motion of continents, the action of water and wind, those things haven't happened on the moon. You go to the moon and you can start paging through the earliest history of the solar system, beautifully preserved. Among their samples, a stunning find. One moon rock, dubbed Big Bertha, contains an Earth fragment, the oldest one ever discovered. Researchers think the fragment landed on the moon eons ago, when an asteroid hit Earth and blasted pieces of it to the moon. 